Lots of people look at Chinese characters and decide to learn Mandarin based on the fact that Chinese characters are rather beautiful. However, as soon as most people begin to memorize characters using lots of carefully drawn out flashcards, they reach the conclusion that Chinese characters are frustratingly random, and most importantly that there is absolutely no phonetic basis, meaning that looking at a character can't tell you how it's pronounced. Like for example... So, of course, this character is pronounced as many as 80% of Chinese characters are semantophonetic, a concept that is never really explored in most Chinese language courses and books. These. You see, when Chinese proto-writing came into existence, all characters were pictographic, but the Chinese, like other human beings, wanted to be able to write down more abstract, complex ideas. You know, like love or happiness. They use the oldest form of written Chinese, but I'll just illustrate using modern simplified Chinese. So this character means capital city, and it's pronounced Jing, which I will write down. Jing is also the pronunciation of the word for whale. And so when the Chinese wanted to come up with a way to write down the word whale, they wrote fish. To, sh to indicate what sort of thing it was, because they thought whales were fish, whatever. But then wrote down the character for capital city to show how to pronounce this different word. And that's when Chinese writing really kicked off, which is which was great for the ancient Chinese people. The way that they created these abstract characters is great for us. Like here's a wonderful example. This is a sort of suffix meaning able, like lovable or doable, that sort of thing. And it's pronounced like this ko. And here are some others that contain the same character. All right? Just look. This one is pronounced K. This one is pronounced K. This one is pronounced K. What do they all have in common? This lovely bit here. So this is beautiful. Now you can read every Chinese character, except not exactly. The Chinese language has changed over the past 3,000 years, so some of them aren't exactly the same anymore, like these two. This one is Zhong, and this one is Zhong, I believe. Yes. So they're similar in pronunciation, but they differ slightly. Again, just the evolution of language. Some of them, however, have changed a lot. Like, again, I'll bring up the K. And a similar character containing that phonetic component. H, which means river. This character right here, these are f component, these three little dots right there indicate water, something aquatic, and this sort of indicates the pronunciation because originally these two were pronounced sort of the same, but, you know, change. However, they do contain the same vowel, and they do both begin with velar consonants. Despite these changes, you 
can still often make a good guess based upon the phonetic components. And how do I know? Because I've played this game before. If you go on mdbg.com, bring up a long list of characters, such as in such as by clicking on a radical in the radical dictionary, you can look at ones with the phonetic bits you recognize, then click on the character to see if you're correct on how it's pronounced. I can usually get about 80% of the ones I guess. Even with my limited knowledge, you can try it yourself. So while learning Chinese characters is still difficult, it will always be difficult, it will always be a pain learning thousands of logographs and complex characters, this does make it significantly easier to learn them and to separate the ones that are only different by, say, a single little dot like this.